From zero to 90, if you do too much, I'ma do the almighty. You know I got it, you know I'm a legend. You know I'm the one, I do not come in second. Please do not tempt me, don't hold it against me. We about that action, don't ever forget it. Squad of gorillas, the army, the navy. I call a play, I'ma score like I'm Brady. The title is mine, if you want it, come take it. I'm ready for more. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for more. I'm ready for war. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for war. I'm ready for more. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for more. I'm ready for war. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for war. Today, from Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York, it's Week 18 of the NFL on EA Sports. From the home of the Bills since 1973, we are at Bills Stadium just south of downtown Buffalo, New York. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Buffalo Bills. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And he's had a great season so far throwing the football. Very likely could go over 4,000 yards with a good performance here. And even in an age of passing first, that is no small accomplishment. Meanwhile, Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Allen. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Now this defense for the Bengals, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Washington. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Not much there, only a yard. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Throwing again on second down. Allen, he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Allen to throw once more. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 28. I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this has started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Allen going to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. 
Davis. And now, hang tight. We pause for an injury to the wide receiver, Stephon Diggs, who is yet to hop back on his feet. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. And Hopkins' kick is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Here's a give to Mixon. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 32-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Eight yards to go on second down. They'll set up a throw. This goes out wide for Mixon. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up a third down. They'll look to throw. This one hauled in by Sample. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Quick slam caught by Chase. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Well, he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that... And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Bengals have taken the lead. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the draw. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points 